not an accessory or an upgrade, but it's definitely a necessity. It's undercoating. I know all vehicles come with undercoating from the factory. All the parts and the frame is all undercoated or dipped before assembly. But you're always going to get surface rust no matter what. Uh, the body of the F-150 is nice because it's all aluminum. It's not going to rust. But uh, the steel frame and all the parts underneath it are going to be prone to rust like any other metal part. Um, we're coming into the first snowstorm of the year here, possibly Friday, so they're going to be uh, laying down this slag shit on the roadway. Uh, when I was a kid, the roads were covering this rock salt. Remember the dump trucks driving around and dumping a bunch of salt on the roadways to get rid of ice? Well, now they put this chemical compound down that's about four times more uh, abrasive than regular salt. Uh, and the salt, the snow will hit it, it'll melt, it'll turn into water, it'll drive over it, and it will spray on the underside of your vehicle, and it will just eat it up. So, uh, I think undercoating is a necessity. Uh, when I got the Ram, it, it was sitting on the lot for about a year, and it was in an overflow lot, which was in a, like a grassy area. So, after I cleaned it off, there was a significant amount of surface rust underneath it. So, I cleaned it up as best I could. And I tried several different undercoatings. I did the Rust-Oleum rubberized coating. It did not work or really stick to the frame at all. I did uh, um, Flex Seal, same thing. I went online and researched, you know, best undercoatings and stuff like that. And I came across this stuff. It's called Fluid Film. It's a home automotive farm industrial marine wool-based wool wax formula. It's called Lanolin. I guess it's something that uh, sheep and shit, uh, any animal that produces wool secretes, uh, it makes their wool obviously waterproof and works pretty good. I got bought a few cans for the Ram, sprayed the whole thing in March of 2018, and I uh, never had to do it again. Uh, any surface rust that was left over after I cleaned it was gone, and uh, I never experienced any other rust issues. I checked it every year at the beginning of winter and then at the end. And I never had to respray it, which is really nice. So I got a few cans of this stuff today. It's not too bad. It's uh, $9.99, $10.99, depending on where you shop for it. And we're going to spray a few of the rusted parts underneath the, uh, the F-180. All right, as you can see, there's a little bit of surface rust underneath here. It's pretty much the only place that I've found, honestly. That's not too bad. The frame, I can't find any rust on the frame, honestly. I'll give it another once over, but I've already cleaned off as much as I could of this rust on the, uh, the axle back here. I'm going to spray it, and I'll show it to you when I'm done. It's almost an hour. Took about two cans, and I was able to undercoat the whole frame. Doesn't take a lot, honestly, and any exposed metal parts that were underneath. Let's take a look. All right, right now you can see it looks pretty glossy black. When it dries, it'll be this matte black finish. You won't be able to see any of the bubbles or anything like that in it. It'll take a day or two. Once I drive it a little bit, it'll, uh, it'll all smooth out. And you can see, you probably can't see any of the former rust spots on there. Zoom in a little bit, you can see a little bit of it. But those will all turn you know, black, just like the rest of the, uh, the sprayed areas. Uh, the frame and this will last probably at least a couple of years like I said I never had to respray the ram so so if you're looking to undercoat your vehicle I would definitely recommend fluid film it's really easy to put on it's not crazy expensive and it lasts forever so all right